Hey everyone, uh, Jordan from my crypto here, back with the second Dark Forest tutorial uh, to answer some questions that I've seen and to help you guys kind of uh, start off on the right foot. Um, the question I saw today that prompted this was asking about these rings around a planet. Uh, what do they mean? What do the numbers mean? Uh, so they're actually, rings are very, very helpful. Um, they're kind of guides. And to understand how they work, you need to understand the rest of the stats of a planet. So I'll go through all the stats real quick. Um, energy is the first stat. It's the most important stat. It's also the most easily understood. Uh, the left number is the current energy and the right number is the cap for that planet. This can be upgraded with silver. Uh, there's a maximum number of times you can upgrade it, uh, but pretty basic, pretty important. The second stat here is the amount of silver that a planet has. Uh, the left number, again, is the current amount of silver a planet carries, and the right number is the maximum. Uh, you use silver to upgrade your planets, and you get silver by capturing asteroid belts. Asteroid belts are a type of planet that aren't really ones that you want to become attached to. They have, uh, oftentimes they have much less uh, energy caps and they are really only serving the purpose of producing silver to send it to your planets to upgrade. They're very helpful. I mean, they're extremely important, um, but that's how you get silver is by, by grabbing it from asteroid belts and sending it to your planets. So you have to capture the asteroid belt first, of course, to, to get it and then to get silver. Uh, they generate silver quickly and then send it to your planet. So that's silver. Um, the second number here, or the, sorry, the third stat here is the energy growth. It's the rate of growth. So right now my planet's capped at energy, so it, it's not, the growth rate is zero effectively because I can't go past the cap. Um, this planet, for example, this is one of my biggest planets. Uh, you can see that as 103,000 out of 149,000, the growth rate is 10. So it's generating energy fairly quickly. To explain that a little bit further, um, when you capture a planet and you barely capture it with enough, so like you may have like 10 energy starting out out of like a thousand, you're gonna you're gonna generate energy super slowly, and your end goal with that planet is to get it to the cap. So the way energy rates work is on an s curve so when you're close to zero energy you're going to generate it super slowly and when you're close to the maximum energy you're also going to generate super slowly but as you get closer to the halfway point of your energy cap you're generating the f as fast as as possible uh, and it's an s curve so you start out generating really slow like one two three four five and as you get closer to the halfway point, you generate it faster. So like 496, 497, 498, 499, 500. And a, a, this is the peak energy growth rate in the, or generation rate. And then after that point, it starts dropping off and gets a little bit slower as you get towards the cap. Uh, so this is called an S curve. And you don't have to like grasp that completely right now. Uh, but as you capture more planets, you'll start to recognize that it's best to uh, capture it with more energy than, than not. Um, the perfect scenario would be to capture a planet with enough excess energy that it's at like 40% right off the bat. So it's regenerating quickly and that's the most efficient way to use your energy up. Um, it's efficient, it's optimal, etc., etc. Uh, the next number is the range and this is simply how far your energy can go. Uh, and this is exactly what the circles are for. So every planet has these three circles surrounding them. Sometimes there's four. This first inner gray circle, second gray circle, and the third gray circle, they're static. They will always appear and they will always be there unless you upgrade the range of your planet. So this inner circle, is letting you know, sorry, this this first gray circle is always letting you know 
that if you were to send 25% of your energy, you cannot reach any further than this. So if we change to 25%, you can see it would be zero by the time it hits that wall. And this is true for the entire circle. The second circle here is 50%. That's how far you can reach. The outer circle is 100%. So these are just helpful guidelines to let you know at a glance how far you can go. And then the, the orange circle you see kind of changing here, or the beige or whatever you want to call it, this is variable according to how much energy you've selected and it's kind of a, a variable guide. So it's like a quick reference and you can see how far you can send energy. Um, very, very, very helpful. And um, you'll see like these rings on this planet are relatively close to it because uh, it doesn't have much energy and it doesn't have much range, but for larger planets, it kind of becomes massive. So for example, this planet can reach extremely far because it has an insane range. And I'm doxing myself a little bit here, so I hope no one takes advantage of this information. Um, okay, so back to the stats. Uh, the next stat is the speed. And this is also pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's the rate at which your fleets or your energy can travel. So if you were to send energy uh, from a planet with 100 speed and a planet with 200 speed, the planet with 200 speed would get there twice as fast, essentially. That's all it means. The last stat here is defense, which I explained in a different video. Defense is simply a... A modifier on your energy um, so this planet has 150 defense which is essentially at 1.5 x times my energy so if someone wanted to steal this planet from me you would take the current energy multiply it by 1.5 and so that's what 3.6 so they would need 3.6 thousand energy to take this planet from me some planets have a, a larger natural defense this is 200 some have 50, this one has 25, which means you'd only need a quarter of this energy to capture it. I explained that further in depth in my previous video, so I'd recommend taking a look at that. Uh, but yeah, that's basically a primer in all the stats of a planet and what the circles around a planet means. It's all very helpful. I hope this was helpful to you and I'll probably make some more tutorial videos if, uh, if they are requested or helpful. And um, aside from that, Best of luck in the dark forest.